on in the age of dinosaurs. Eraptor made its home in what is now Argentina about 231 million years ago. Beside that is a kind of skinny dinosaur named a Coelophysis. Its name means hollow form because they had hollow sacks of air in their joints instead of cartilage. Coelophysis is the oldest known dinosaur from North America. And here is a large predator known as Herrerasaurus. Herrerasaurus is named one of the largest predatory dinosaurs that lived in the Triassic period. It lived in what is now Argentina about 231 million years ago. Hey there, folks, this is Safari Sarah. The Triassic period was the dawn of the age of dinosaurs, but it Daddy. too had to come Look to an Daddy. end. Just a little <laughs> over 200 million years ago, the Earth encountered Leave another mass extinction. Believed to be caused by an increased period of volcanic activity, it caused the extinction of roughly 70% of life on Earth. This wiped Whoa, out a lot of bigger animals snail. at the time. Without big competitors, dinosaurs thrived. And in the Jurassic period, they quickly became the gargantuan creatures we think of when we hear the word dinosaur. Captain Caleb here. I hope your auto insurance covers water damage. Because in order to get into the Jurassic period, we're diving deep into the Jurassic Ocean. The big shell you see is an ammonite. Ammonites are cephalopods. That means they are relatives of the squid. <laughs> Octopus and Nautilus. Their spiral shells so protected them from predators. Some shells yeah, got to reach sizes that of six feet across the we fast. The animal that looks kind of like a small what you think, Ray Ray? is an ichthyosaurus. That name means fish lizard. Ain't nobody listening it's an aquatic this. reptile from the mammal. <laughs> so it isn't related to dolphins at all. We can't forget about the small animal swimming with it. That's a plesiosaurus. You like it, Ray Ray? Another important part of this ecosystem. You see dinosaurs? As a wise yeah. man once said. What you think? Tell me what you think. Yeah. yeah, look at the camera. The magical Leo yeah. Are they big? Leo Clarendon was a yeah. member of the he, he wants to take one home? Family, which is a kind of short-necked <laughs> plesiosaur. It's hey, we could be dinosaurs for Halloween this year. Here are not dinosaurs, but I've been wanting to do that. that. Oh, that's a big look one over there. there. Dinosaurs for the most part oh, lived on yeah, land yeah. and had legs that went straight underneath their hips and not splayed out to the sides like lizards or crocodiles. Ooh, these are bigger ones. <laughs> Try Sarah's they hold up the, line. the audio tour until you reach the next scene. Okay. This is fun. And we don't have to walk. Even better. Yeah. You know which one I'm excited to see? T Rex. Really, baby? <laughs> oh, yeah. I took my wife's old shoes. <laughs> well, I hate I love dinosaurs. Me too. We know you like dinosaurs. That's a window that might cut my hand. What dinosaur do you like, Ray Ray? <laughs> You he like so meat fast. eaters or veggie eaters? He's not, he, he's not paying attention. He doesn't care. You like those kind? The meat eaters. They got sharp teeth. They eat meat like daddy. Look at these kids over here jumping out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, we're seeing oh, yeah, nothing but cars okay. right now. Press play. Bro, they holding up the line. Because they're listening. They can drive five miles per hour and listen at the same time. Hello, everyone. This is Park Ranger Marty. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Outside of your vehicle is where we keep our Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus was a predator from the very beginning Ooh. of the Jurassic period, I do like Dilophosaurus. About 200 million years ago. Now a lot of people have ideas of Dilophosaurus spitting poison or venom or acid. And a lot of the pictures and toys show them with a big frill around their neck. Well, unfortunately, the movies that this idea comes from used what we call artistic license, which is just a fancy way of saying they lied. They just plain made it up. <laughs> right. We don't know for sure that some dinosaurs didn't spit poison, but we don't have any reason to think that Dilophosaurus Look, did. Dilophosaurus. There's also no evidence that they had that colored rump. The frill is seen in other creatures when frightened, like a frilled neck lizard or a wild William Shakespeare. You see, but so. not in Dilophosaurus, as far as you are, know. my child. We're moving. 
That's Who can cool. name the dinosaur here covered in plates? If you said Stegosaurus, you're oh, right. You it too soon, baby. Stegosaurus is a it does it on its plant. own. Here, pause it. I'll pause. I'll play when we get up there. Look. What do you think about that, Ray Ray? Look. What if it just started walking towards us? Yeah. I would be out. I don't know where I'd go. Well, we can't drive straight because yes. there's a we're fat line of cars. Be, we're gonna be lunch. Eater whose back, neck, and tail were covered yeah, in looking plates. At you. Stegosaurus had a special weapon. Oh, Along its tail, it had a set of spikes yeah, called a flow. thagomizer that would use yeah. to defend itself from predators. Uh, and the predator it had to worry about the most flow? was Allosaurus. Oh, Allosaurus, I like those. T-Rex isn't the only scary meat-eating dinosaur Ooh, we had here at Jurassic big. West. Allosaurus was one of the larger predators around in the late Jurassic. Allosaurus had long arms for a theropod with big hooked claws. These could help it grip onto its prey while it used its serrated teeth as its primary weapon. We know it used its arms because scientists have found signs of microscopic stress fractures on the bones of their forearms. This happens in bones when a person or an animal is using force to move heavy weight with their bodies. They might have used their arms to keep prey from getting away, or possibly to hold onto a stegosaurus's tail to avoid getting hit. Wan Long. They're an early member of the Ceolosaur family Wong Wong. that lived in what is now That's my China. Favorite one. Wong Wong. The yep. Ceolosaur family okay. was made up of mostly small predators. You ride that one. But Wong as Wong. time went Wong by, Wong. some Ceolosaurs eventually became a bit bigger. Specifically, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, they're Wong Wong? Look at this one. The big, long-necked dinosaur in this scene is a Patasaurus. A Patasaurus is what we call a sauropod or a long-necked dinosaur. <laughs> sauropods I remember the long necks. animals to ever walk What movie was that? Land Before Time? Yeah, that, that movie big, was so sad. So a long neck. They eat all the time. To eat even more, these long neck giants didn't even waste time chewing. I want to go the like leaves that. from trees whole. No. But they Just had a careful. special don't trick sit. to cover the digestive ghetto. food. Sauropods must so have to inside. Lay their long necks down to the ground oh, and swallow that's small that's stones. Like yeah, Those mommy doesn't have that kind of roof. grind up their food once it was inside. Those rocks are called gastroliths, or stomach rocks in that. These gastroliths are super important Those because they help scientists to learn the migration patterns of these dinosaurs. But what you think, baby? Gastroliths. You want to keep going? Uh, when well, we don't have a choice. You want to see more? Please pause your audio tour until your dinosaur herd migrates. I know, on. baby. We can't get out. Not this year, anyways. Because of the world is stupid. <laughs> Shakti didn't say, don't say that. Honey. Well, they're afraid that the dinosaurs might get COVID from us. Oh, yeah. It's a fake dinosaurs. They're probably vaccinated. <laughs> Touche, weirdo. Touche. So there's two lines here. I wonder where these guys came from. It's how they're getting a lot of cars through at one time. Anyways, we're in Sacramento. Beautiful Sacramento. There's that uh, golden bridge over there. One of the famous uh, bridges of Sacramento. I don't know how famous it is. I just know that when you come to Sacramento, there is a golden bridge there. Yeah, we're looking at the dinosaurs. This was for my birthday. It's My birthday's on 30th, but this was the last day they were gonna be in Sacramento. We surely weren't going to Philadelphia. So, that was microphone. Yeah, they do tours. Go on my phone. So they have like, really? oh, you can do phone time later. And we're going to see more. We just have to wait our turn, baby. That's all. Huh? Probably big trucks. Or they probably dismantle them. Yeah. Like that big. Long neck. Long neck, yeah. Like the tail and the legs look like yeah. they come off. They probably dismantle them. It's easy to travel. I wish they were real. 
but then we'd be no, in our own movie. No, I don't wish they were We'd real. be in our own Jurassic Park movie. We know how that plays out every time, yeah. don't we? Yeah, I'm glad they're not real. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm going to watch all the Jurassic Parks tonight. I know you have one about Daddy. The first one's not boring. You look cool with my sunglasses on. Handsome boy. Alright, we got some more dinosaurs to see. Ooh, are you ready? They're coming. Of course they're going to save the T-Rex for last watch. Torturing me. Well, if there's one dinosaur that everybody knows. It's the T-Rex. That's the one that Ray favors. Little tiny arms. <laughs> well. Go ahead, get it all out on camera, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna let you let you do whatever you want to do. Oh yeah, because yeah. it's for my birthday that why we're here. No, because we know who really gets the jokes going no, your, on here. No, your your jokes are mean. Mine are funny. The mean ones are the best ones. <laughs> I think the mean ones are the best ones. See? Oh, of course my you son, agree with daddy. Of course he does, because he knows what's up. <laughs> he knows who's the alpha male. Well, I'm yeah. surely not a male. You're not alpha either. <laughs> Bow. Daddy's alpha. That's right. Son. We let Daddy think he's Alpha. Leader of the pack. Okay, this. Oh, play. Next scene. Ooh, Safari Sarah here again. After the oh. end of the Jurassic, we find right, ourselves right. in the early Cretaceous period. Look at this bad boy. The Cretaceous was the longest of the three periods of the Mesozoic. The Cretaceous period saw all kinds of strange new life, yes, vegetables, including weird new plants that we call flies. She wants to see. We're starting off in what is now England during the early Cretaceous, roughly 120 million years ago. I wonder if the these dinosaurs, dinosaurs had an English accent. The is what we call an iguana. Hello, mate. And it's one of the first dinosaurs to be discovered and named. Well, you want some tea and crumpets? <laughs> Wait a minute, that was Australian. Yeah. <laughs> in England, no one had so ever cool. even heard of the little one, dinosaurs right, right? yet. So when it came time to name this bizarre new animal, the only similarities so anyone could think of were that its teeth kind of looked like the teeth of an iguana, only bigger. Lines of Iguanodon depicted it as a giant iguana-like creature. Iguanodon, that's the, the one behind it. The animal next to is Baryonyx. Baryonyx was a carnivore, the and specifically it ate so fish. Funny. We know that yeah, it ate fish because when the first baryonyx skeleton would fall on their head a lot, right? The 1980s, <laughs> it had fossilized Ooh, fish bones this one. and fish Baryonyx. scales inside of its belly, Baryonyx. along with a few bones from a young iguanodon. <laughs> Since it lived in what is now England, my, as one of its uh, last meals was fish, this could be the one. earliest evidence wow. of anyone in the UK. Do you think you were tripping, Paul? <laughs> Man, I could just do this one. Hey, there's one over there that looks like a dog. Oh, in the movie, Asia. they did that a lot. Mommy needs air. Big dino you see here is a Utyranus. Ooh, do you like that one? Utyranus is part of the Tyrannus. Yeah, I can see how that means it's a relatively T-Rex. Yeah, could you? Do you think it might be a little scary? Look at this one. I can't even see you if they're right in front of you. And it just comes to the side of your window like this? It's a Utyranus. Utyranus. Uterannus. What is this called? Uterannus. It's furry. Yeah, furry. Wow, it's got hair. Why how, do they, how do they know it? How do they know it had hair? How did they eat? How do they know any of this is real? I don't know. Well, they found the bones. You can't tell by bones. How do we know they were this big though? Maybe they were size a little. Well, reptile. they found a big bone. Yeah. It's Park Ranger Marty again. Yeah, they found big bones. Early Cretaceous, North America. Furry guy is Utah Raptor. I just want to know how they had how they know they had, had fur. Utah Raptor was discovered. Utah. That's right, Cincinnati. Oh. Just kidding, folks. Utah Raptor was found in Utah. Utah Raptor is the largest known member of the Raptor family. Now behind him is a predator named Seatz. Seatz was a massive predator that lived at the end of well, the Well, these are all furry. Look, look, look. Very little is known about Seatz. Do you know how recent of a discovery it is? But it is thought to be a member of the Allosauridae group that lived into the early Cretaceous. Yeah. Seatz lived in North America at about the same time as some of the Tyrannosaurus. Those Tyrannosaurus like didn't get any larger than about the had. size of a Great Dane because the Alpha Predator role had already been filled by Seatz. 
It wasn't until sea ants went extinct that like larger tyrannosaurs no like Tyrannosaurus rex. Yeah, even the little one, you're not getting away. Also in this scene, you'll see Deinonychus, or Deinonychus if you will. Deinonychus? Oh yeah. Of the that sounds like one of those old school 80s cartoons I used to watch. Dinosaurs! Nobody knows about dinosaurs. I only do because you made me look at it. Nobody sure knows about it. Pause your audio tour until you reach our next dinosaur scene. <laughs> our... I remember seeing that one in the movie. Mm -hmm. like no, the little ones are fast. Remember the little tiny ones that, that ran up on that guy? The little, little ones. Little tiny ones. You mean this tiny? They were pretty little. In real life, they're probably like your size. <laughs> are, are you tiny, really? Sure. You look good in mommy's shades. Good looking boy. See, we've only been here 11 minutes. Really? Mm -hmm. Feels longer, huh? Because of these long lines. Always driving. Don't mess with the mirror because that's how daddy sees when he drives. Good. He uses it to see what's on the side of the car. So if you move it, it will change what how much he can see. How do you change it? I change it over here, really. But you mean with that? See, thing? look. Nope, that's that's good enough right there, buddy. How do you move it with that? Yeah, um, I think at nighttime if they had lights and stuff, that'd be pretty dope. Is this the only time they have? Um, they close at eight. I, I know Ray has to work tomorrow, so I don't want us to be out here heckling. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Sing it, Ray You still think Jurassic Park would scare him? The dinosaurs are leaving, Bossasaur. Not the first one. Well, get them. You watch the scarier stuff on YouTube. Yeah, but the it gives them it wouldn't. gives them nightmares. The first one wouldn't scare him. It, 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 it's probably not a good idea to have him watch. What, what age can I show him those movies? When he's older, not now. You know he's scared of everything. Okay. Half of y'all in this car are scared of everything. He's not a good <laughs> KK, I was sitting at the kitchen table eating cereal. You came in the kitchen and got scared. I'm <laughs> Over there. You can. Yeah. Kind of cool because you get to see it like twice. That's the uh, Dilophosaurus. Wow, this is too hot. Yeah. Ooh, getting smiling. to the big green yeah. one. Well, who cares now? Look at him trying to sneak a pic. No, I'm not. My yeah. girlfriend wants to know what I'm doing. Oh, hello, Samantha. Yeah, I'm pointing wow. at you, sissy. Yep. You could have been on the phone with her, letting her be here. Oh, yeah. Okay, two of you are this in the way. Ooh, that's a Spinosaurus. Straightforward. Hey, don't lean too far out because if those glasses yeah. fall, I'm gonna be sad. You'll just open the door and get them. A couple hundred dollar <laughs> glasses, though. They, they're pretty durable. I've oh, dropped yeah. mines many times. Oh, no scratches on the wall? No scratches. No, like 250 or something. Ray did it as a gift for me. He can spend whatever he wants on it. <laughs> or give me the cash, either way. So, let me ask you a question, son. Son. Not you, Ray Ray. McKay. Because I don't like glasses. No, it has nothing to do with glasses. 
But if you could buy a car, a bucket for a hundred dollars and it didn't work and you had to do certain things to turn it on, or you could buy a better car for ten thousand dollars, which would you buy? Exactly. That's why we bought these glasses because they're better than the cheaper ones. Yes. The only reason that I would buy the better car is because I don't got more money to fix that other car. Yeah, but guess what? Those cheaper glasses, you drop them and it's game over. Youth generating power in just three weeks. Lines appear. I dropped these bad boys in there. I thought they were game over. Do we need? I like the dinosaur sounds, and you took me out. They they still make them. You can hear them outside. No, I'm picking them. Dinosaurs out here, so. You don't hear them outside making sounds. No. What is that one on the pole? What is that? Well, I hear them outside saying the same thing. What do you hear, Ray Ray? I hear the same thing you just said. What is that one on the pole right there? That's a dinosaur. <laughs> That's so <some> weird. <laughs> That's ever seen I think somebody just put that there on accident. No, that scary is actually a And the director just thought that Velociraptor sounded cooler. Make sure to pause your audio that. tour and until we reach our next dinosaur scene. <laughs> our journey now takes us to the continent That's of Africa. Basically a turtle. In the early Cretaceous period. The dinosaur standing here is one that I bet a lot of you There's know. No turtles down there. Can you guess what it is? Yeah. No, not Did that you big. Say yes, Spinosaurus? I don't think so. Not that big. You got it. Spinosaurus is one of the Show largest me. carnivores to ever walk the earth. But it mostly ate fish. We know that because Spinosaurus's teeth have been found embedded in fossilized bones of large fish. Although they have also been found in the bones of other dinosaurs. Spinosaurus is a creature that's that over there. I know. For a long time. Its fossils were discovered in 1912. We didn't but they see were destroyed it, did we? during World War II. Oh, yeah, we when the museum what sound does a dinosaur make? Because really? of a bony protrusion on the end of its snout that might have been used to ram it to its prey. Remember when he was like, how you doing? A I'm a pterodactyl. I'm going to hit you in the face. Yeah. 2,000 pounds. Lizards oh. and yeah, that thing is way more than 2,000 pounds, man. They have four tongues for tasting sense in the water. They even oh, had a heck. row of teeth in the back yeah, of their mouths. Yeah, that thing's bigger than six feet, bro. Holding onto them prey in the water. Give them to mommy and those that are scary teeth. fish that you see that looks like a cross between a piranha and a tuna is Xyphactinus. Xyphactinus was a voracious predator that lived in the oceans all over the world. It could reach lengths up to 20 feet long. You like it, Ray If you have any other questions about these creatures or anything else I you see on the tour, just go so you we can text Park kind of like Ray. There's like nothing here, so there's nothing to look at here. 844-346-6411. Also, while doing so, be sure to stay inside your vehicles for the duration of the tour. With all of these aquatic creatures, Tell us the, the story. last thing you want to do is get your phone wet. Get your phone wet? Hey, Marty. They got it's water? Dustin. I have a weird question here. They're being fed. Get that from. A lot of kids out here. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids. And don't freak out, but have you seen the T Rexes? This well, they were in the enclosure an hour ago when I went in to feed them. Are they not still there? We have a tour headed that way right now. Yeah. Okay, um. Sorry, I hate to ask up. you this, but you didn't happen to turn off the invisible fence, did you? Don't be silly, Dustin. How else was I supposed to get in there? Marty. <laughs> don't be silly, Dustin. dinosaurs that are chipped. You don't need to turn it off to walk okay. in. Oh. Um, I guess like, they learn new now. things every day. <laughs> this is serious, Marty. I need to call the security team Don't right play now. with the Those door or you go back in your chair. The tour gets to them. What? Or, or they get to the tour. I'm sorry, Dustin. 
<laughs> look, look, look. to cause any trouble. Look, look over there. You never do, Marty. You never do. Try Sarah and stop the audio tour until you reach the next scene. No one Welcome see back to Asia in, in late nope. Cretaceous period. Here we have three kinds of dinosaurs from Mongolia, starting with Velociraptor. Despite what you may have seen in movies, Velociraptor is not six feet tall, but actually about three feet tall, six feet long, and about 20 to 30 pounds. Just think of an extra scary turkey. We also know that at least one Velociraptor attacked a Protoceratops, the next dinosaur in the sea. This is thanks to the fossil of a oh, Velociraptor like and Protoceratops no, found, who died so still locked in combat. The Protoceratops broke the Velociraptor's oh, arm with its powerful <laughs> beak. Moments oh, I don't like the real Velociraptors. In sand the other dinosaur in the scene, Oviraptor, has an unfortunate name, meaning egg thief. When this dinosaur was discovered, it was found over a nest of eggs thought to belong to Protoceratops. After later research, scientists realized it was sitting on a nest of its own eggs. But the name stuck and is still debated if Oviraptor actually ate eggs. Here at Jurassic Quest, ours take their sunny side up every morning for breakfast. Get they nailed? Yet another dinosaur from Mongolia is the large Therizinosaurus you see here, with the long claws. The claws on its hands could grow up to three feet long, oh, making low, them the low longest to claws in the animal kingdom. Most of what oh, we know about Therizinosaurus comes from animals closely related to it. The only fossils we have of this animal are its shoulders, arms, These and ones don't hands. Move. It is believed to be an herbivore, but we are still looking for more fossils to know for sure. The dinosaur next to it is a Lorotitan, lived in what is now eastern Russia. It's in a special group of duck-billed dinosaurs called Lambiosaurs, which are famous for the elaborate crests on their heads. Oh, These crests would have certainly room. served as display structures, but may also have been used in some Lambiosaurs as resonating chambers to make sounds used to communicate effectively through the herd. Speaking of communication, I've been directed to ask you all to keep an eye out for any free-roaming dinosaurs that may or may not be wandering around the park. Hi, Keep Park Ranger Marty out. here. Hope you're not mad at me about accidentally releasing the T-Rexes. Anyway, in this scene, you see Shiantosaurus. Shiantosaurus is a Tyrannosaurus from China and is closely related to Paleoramus from Mongolia. Both have awfully long, narrow noses for members of the Tyrannosaur family. We're not sure what those noses may have been used for. Maybe to cut through water, making them faster, more accurate fishermen. Or maybe they were specializing in smaller, faster prey, not needing the power of a T-Rex. Speaking of which, if you see one of them, please let one of our four security officers know. Down, now, scientists only oh, cool. described this dinosaur in 2014, so there's still a lot of unanswered questions about it. But I can tell you this: in the United States, we do not typically refer this dinosaur as a dinosaur. We typically just call it Pinocchio and now we travel to Argentina. The big animal you see in this scene is Giganotosaurus. That's one we jig Arguably one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs. Though it may look a lot like T-Rex, it's actually a much different animal. Not like a T-Rex, it has three claws on each hand. That was pretty close to us. Look at the arm. Unlike a T-Rex, which were meant for rushing through bones. And ripping car tops open. <laughs> and ripping Speaking car tops open. If you see one of our missing team Rexes, please let one of our three security guards know where. The second largest in this scene is Carnotaurus, which means meat eating bull because of peculiar no, horns it. on its head. It might have used its horns as a weapon against other predators. Did you see that one, Mary? We got close to it. Funny looking dinosaur. Did you like that? Not just because of the horns. No, you didn't like it. It's tiny. Is it scary? Carnotaurus has one of the smallest oh, yeah. arms of any known dinosaur, even smaller than the T-Rex. The small dinosaur you see in this scene is Albasaurus, a small, fast predator that lived in Argentina during the late Cretaceous period. It's believed to have eaten insects. Uh, ew. 
please we pause the video tour until your dinosaur herd migrates on up to the next scene. We're not allowed to, babe. Welcome to the Duck Bill Dinosaur. Oh, Riri, there's your favorite, a pterodactyl. Ooh, it's big, too. He looks pterodactyl. <laughs> I'm How a pterodactyl. Doing? I'm a pterodactyl. I'm going to hit you in the face. He always says I'm going to hit you. I don't like them no more. You don't like them no more? They're too big. Oh. Mm -hmm. no, the dinosaur with the long crest on the back of its head is called Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus is a hadrosaur, a family of dinosaurs sometimes called duck-billed dinosaurs because of the shape of their spouts. Other hadrosaurs include Iguanodon, Aranosaurus, <laughs> Allura Titan, and Edmontosaurus, like among <laughs> many others. Parasaurolophus is a cool dinosaur because it's one of the it's few dinosaurs really where like we it. know what they might have sounded like. Paleontologists discovered that <laughs> like by looking at the crest. <laughs> What they found were tubes inside going back and forth between What's going on back there? How's my, the how's my teenagers doing? When they recreated blowing air through their tubes, Coleman? they Coleman. discovered that the crest would have like made Coleman. a horn sound. Um, the new script here just... <laughs> Claire, we sound the same. Sounds. No, guys, yeah. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Zero in the college thing. <sighs> that one doesn't By the move. way... Hadrosaurs are this prey thing. animals. Their sound might have attracted large predators. If our missing T Rexes hear that sound coming yes. from one of your cars, they might be following the tour back in the direction of their cage. So perhaps we should uh, move like on to the next step. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Quetzalcoatlus is the largest flying animal to ever take to the sky. It lived in what's now Texas because everything is bigger in Texas. It's named after the Quetzalcoatl, the Aztec oh, the one, huh? serpent deity. It had a wingspan of 36 feet. That's the same Here's as a small plane. Pterodactyl. Standing like it is here, it was the head of a giraffe. Or a lot of cotta la 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 la. Sugar la Six hundred pounds. That's a lot. What is all a cotta la la? Incredibly <laughs> light for <laughs> animals. Say that size. five times. It was doing everything possible to be as light as possible, including having very hollow bones. It's big, huh? This is necessary for it to achieve flight. Quetzalcoatlus was actually not a dinosaur, but a pterosaur. Pterosaurs are a family of flying reptiles that lived at the same time as dinosaurs. But not all pterosaurs. Quetzalcoatlus had no teeth. Well, I think those are made out of glass. Now, if you have any Where's other questions teeth? about the they creatures don't have you see, go ahead and text that question. They eat fish. They swoop in the water. 811 or 844-346-6411. It, it probably wouldn't... Uh, the carnivore in here is a It's probably source. look at you and be like, well, you don't look like food I usually eat. It's a relative of T-Rex, roughly half the size of a fully grown T-Rex. Albertosaurus is named after the Canadian province of Alberta, where almost all of the remains of Albertosaurus have been found. This makes Albertosaurus a Canadian dinosaur. And if you listen very Ooh. carefully, you can almost hear it apologizing. Sorry about that. The, arms, bro. the other dinosaur here, Anzu, was named eat? after a Mesopotamian bird demon. It oh. is a large North American oviraptorate found in the Hell Creek Formation of South Dakota and had a beak with no it's a teeth. Demon bird or something? Yeah, bird is relatively demon. a new discovery and scientists are still trying to learn more about Ooh, this sharp. creature. Make sure to pause your audio tour until you reach our next dinosaur scene. Shark's been around forever. Well, this scene we have a God created him perfect. He don't need to change. Yeah, he's like I, I can he's, he's I'm a, never going to go extinct. He's a perfect predator. They literally just attack us for they don't, no, they don't, they fun. think we're, a, we look like a seal, but they usually spit the humans out. It's not like the scary movies that you see where they just keep coming after us on purpose. Right. Maybe you shouldn't be in their hunting ground. They'll take a little nibble at you. They're a little like, mm, that's not blubber. <laughs> Y'all scrawny. <laughs> Dang. They just be careful. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so you just go check the chunk of <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's what we do. Babies. We kill turkeys. This kid's gonna fall out the car. Why she have to lay out? Cause mama ain't told her to get back in the car. Oh, they're twin boys. <laughs> Y'all don't assume. Right? What you think, Ray Ray? I could just imagine if It's cool. Do y'all want to say anything to your fans on YouTube? Oh, if I don't have daddy with me, I won't. You hear that, folks? If I don't have daddy with me, I won't. I don't know what he's not going to do, no. what he won't do, but it doesn't matter. But he won't if daddy Because don't. if daddy's not, he won't. Hey. Daddy does? Daddy does, he will. Do daddy. You hear that? If daddy, he will. It doesn't matter what it is, but if daddy does, he will. That's my boy. What's on your face? Yogurt? They left their McDonald's cup on top of the car. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it there. <laughs> Daddy, did you do it? I'm going to. Ooh, lean out of the sun, it's cooking us. My eyes look so far apart. My eyes look far apart. Nope. They look proper. You know whose eyes look far apart? Brandy. Your eyes don't look like Brandy. The singer? Wow. I'm oh, old. Yeah, I, know. I am old. I know who that is. Yeesh. How you doing, little guy? You like what you see? Can I see the glasses? Don't do that. There, there looks glasses? like there's some more dinosaurs to see. He wants another donut hole. Two. What do you there's say? Only... Thank you. Say please. Ceratopsians or horned faced dinosaurs. The ones in this scene include Titanoceratops, Cosmoceratops, Tyrannosaurus, and Brachyceratops. Now, there are two families of Ceratopsians Chasmosaurians and Centrosaurians. Now, Chasmosaurians have two prominent eye horns above their eyes and a very large furrow. Centrosaurians do not typically have prominent eye horns and tend to have smaller furrows. But sometimes they have some rather ornate horns coming out of those furrows. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Ceratopsians or any dinosaur, you can text your questions to me at 844-9441. That's 844-644-641. You're missing one, right? 111. This dinosaur is a Kylosaurus. Who's that log guy? That log guy, 444-44-41. You hear it, Remy? <laughs> the little ones, uh, the baby. You see the little ones, baby? I know you like teeny, teeny ones. Imagine we left. Imagine we left fly like that. Used lizard. And Connosaurus was armored for Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus. I, I remember reading that in that book. Yeah, we all remember that one. Imagine the. It's an overgrown armadillo. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like it's that. giving birth, like it's in pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the dinosaurs look kind of high. Maybe they're robots. They're, they're, they don't have any facial expressions. All their eyes are like this. 
You think everything is high? No. <laughs> Not everything. Everything is small. That's right, baby. Everything is small. This is the pack. Pack a little, little, little. <laughs> Why do you have hair anyway? With bit and the and last year, Good job. They are known for having a bony club tail, which was used to swing oh, back and is. forth as a weapon to deter predators. Scientists have even found a T-Rex fossil with a broken leg that was shattered at about there. the same height as an Ankylosaurus tail club. This suggests that Ankylosaurus could fight off a T-Rex and possibly even win. The animal here is a Pachycephalosaurus, meaning thick-headed lizard, huh? named after his thick domed skull. You thick-headed lizard. Oh, I'm about to use that to roast somebody. You're a thick-headed lizard. Some scientists think it is more likely the used for display. That is and that the tiny large walk dome on the didn't grow right. until much later in life, which has implications okay, that for the is next go back. in this scene. Draco Rex, oh, it's here. Yeah. If that sounds like something from a Harry Potter book, we'll have, we'll that's have because to go back it's from a Harry Potter fast book. At all. The name actually means Dragon King of Hogwarts. <laughs> Dragon <laughs> King of what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some who think that as this dinosaur aged, the shape of its skull changed. This kid doesn't like care about the dinosaurs. See, here is a <laughs> juvenile source. But we won't know for sure until more fossils are found. I've got great news, everyone. The brand new security, Lisa, has managed to locate one of the T-Rex and lure it back to his area. That's great news because T Rex is one of the most common favorite dinosaurs. So that means we can actually talk about the T Rex, the tyrant lizard king, while we have one of them here to look at. Tyrannosaurus rex have the most powerful bite of any land animal. Between 8,000 to 12,000 pounds per square inch. Maybe. That's a great question. A powerful oh, yeah. bite to crush the bones of prey or even tear the roof of a car. The powerful bite was the trick the T-Rex had of its very short sleeve. It also had something called a septic bite. T-Rex had very short arms, so it couldn't brush its teeth. That means More clap it smells as well. We just saw that again, again didn't we? Filling its mouth with bacteria. When T-Rex went hunting, it would sometimes bite the prey that got away. If that happened, some of the bacteria from T-Rex's mouth might infect the wound, causing the prey animal to get sick. T-Rex can use a terrific sense of smell to track that prey down. Uh, let's get out of here before the other Rex picks up our scent. On to the next area, the Triceratops. Park Ranger Marty can tell you Megalodon. About there is yeah, there. Megalodon, that's the big shark. Make sure to pause your audio tour until you yeah. reach our yeah. next dinosaur More season. Awesome. Well, and a megalodon is a red kind of Here are my favorite dinosaur, the Triceratops. <laughs> the cool thing about Triceratops is <laughs> a megalodon No! The last T-Rex is in with the Triceratops' pin, and he's eating the Triceratops. Mom, can oh, I no, folks, this is terrible. Oh, wait, no. That's my no, favorite no, Triceratops. No, Lisa, we oh, broke into the missing T-Rex. Lisa, yeah. do you copy? Oh. Oh no, this is terrible. That's a megalodon, oh. bruh. You didn't see the here, sign? Triceratops is a Look at that shark, baby. Right, right. <laughs> I just said the same time and place that T-Rex lived. Now, yeah, Triceratops means three <laughs> for pretty obvious reasons. Scientists used to think that Triceratops used the frill on the back of its head to defend its neck from T-Rex. Oh, hey. That's it. Gotti! 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 It was less of a shield and more of a pull tab on my favorite dinosaur. I think that's the end of the tour. I think that's the end of the tour. If there's bathrooms, I'm going to need to scare away. You can get a dinosaur over there. I'm going to turn this off. 